Welcome back to the garage, guys. Well, we got an interesting project going on today. Uh, I think as you guys can tell, what's happening here is we're gonna build a trike. We'd like to give a big shout out to the guys at the Garage Blog for uh, putting together a series on this trike. And we decided to uh, that we needed one and uh, show off a few things that our plasma cutter can do. And we're gonna get together and build this trike. So I, I propositioned Jackson on this trike build and said, I think we can get this done in a weekend. And he looked at me and said, a weekend? We can have it ready for paint in a couple hours. And I went, you're crazy. And he said, well, we've got that plasma cutter. Let's have that do all the work for us. So with that, we're going to get into the video and show, her how, show you how we're going to do this in a couple hours. Okay guys, so if you've watched our channel for any extended period of time, you know that our MO tends to be doing things on a budget and not spending a whole lot of money. So we figured this is the perfect project to try this on, uh, just because it's a nice simple project, there's not too much stuff going on. And we think with the combination of Fusion 360, our modeling software, it's totally free, and our plasma cutter, we can get this done and just a few hours. So what we did, we started off by drawing the frame. Uh, it took about 15 minutes to actually learn how to do this and maybe another hour or so to actually get everything drawn and to the right proportions and getting all the notches and bends calculated. So what's special about Fusion is we can calculate all of our notches and just send them directly to the plasma cutter from here. I'm hiding a couple of parts so you can see what's going on. So we can see if we hide those parts, we can see all the notches here and we can just send them directly to the plasma cutter. Even stuff like this, which would basically be impossible to do on a real tube notcher, where you have another tube coming through here and then another one coming across, kind of making an X pattern. And maybe not impossible, but it'd be very, very difficult to do. And in Fusion, it's 15 seconds to calculate it and then another 20 seconds to cut it out of the plasma cutter. Um, and what this also can do is it can calculate your bend position so we can see the start of our bend and the end of our bend and we'll just measure from notch to bend and that'll tell us exactly where a die needs to go. And we are going to build this in reverse order as what most people will do. So we're going to notch and then bend rather than bend the notch because we want to uh, use that tube notcher to do it all for us and kind of see what that plasma cutter can really do. And obviously we're going to cut all of our sheet metal parts out. Same thing with this engine mount, we're just going to lay it flat. And these, these bearing plates and the wheelie bar and as well as the, the triple tree up here. So this is how we actually send uh, notches to the plasma cutter is we just unwrap the tubes. You can see this is that funky a uh, notch from earlier and we'll just lay it out on a 2D pattern and then have the uh, cutter just cut along this outside edge. And what's neat about this is um, we can unwrap the tube from anywhere we want. So where we start notching the tube, this will be our zero, zero point. And that zero, zero point will also be on the inside of the bend. So it also help us clock our bends properly so they're aligned with our notches. So we're over here at the plasma cutter and we've got the rotary axis installed on it. And what we went ahead and did is we went ahead and we cut some of these to, a, to an approximate length. So we've got the center line on here and what that center line means is that's the, uh, the outside dimension on our bend. So when we go ahead and bend these, these tubes need to be bent, so we need a center line. We, we showed you in the um, Fusion how we index the plasma cut out notch to that center line. So we're gonna go ahead and get these started. The short tubes, we'll, able to, we'll be able to process both ends. We'll notch both ends and cut the length. Uh, anything over about 20 inches, we'll have to do each side individual. So we're gonna get started on the notching. So these are the hoops for the rear frame and we've cut this to length. So we're gonna set zero right on the end here and we're gonna set zero right on the end here. 
these are too long to cut the length uh, for our device, so we did cut these to length and we'll set zero right at the end points. Then on this one it has the bend line in it, so we need to start the zero point on the bend line. We're ready to go. Or Jico just leaving a bit of a, a bit of a piece of slag there. Comes right off, leaves a nice cut. Now on this cut, this is a special cut for the uh, handlebars, uh, the triple tree, how it mounts to the to the uh, front fork. So it's a specialized cut that you couldn't do with a hole saw. So again, just a little bit uh, slag right there on the corners. They come apart real nice. Just like that. One more of those to do. cuts. Just pop that apart. A little warm. So this is a little longer tube and we want it supported by all three bearings so we flip the cutter around so we can get it supported on all three ends. So we're ready to do this cut. So we've got all the notching done for the trike that we're building. It took about, I don't know, five, eight minutes to get the notching done. Um, we pounded in the bushings on the neck of the triple tree. It turned out really nice. Uh, you can see how flush it is with tapping the bushings in. We've got the notches, the other ones for the triple tree. We got the tubes that are going to go above the axle, and then these are going to be the rear hoops that the axle mounts to, and then these are the main the main frames. If we look at this, we've got a real interesting notch here. Uh, it's not your traditional notch. We're going to show you how that mates to it uh, further on. So we've got nice notches here. This is going to go together, and we've got all the notching done. Our motor mount guys uh, nice clean cuts we did put bend lines in it so we can bend these up 
and square it up. So there we got our motor mount. So we got the tube out of the uh, plasma cutting tube notcher. And what we did is we drew a line on the inside of our bends. We marked the center and we have a placement for here and here based off the calibration for our die. So now we're gonna load it into the bender. So we got the, the bending done. Uh, we got the notches uh, done. So now this piece is ready to be installed. Okay, so we got the same thing again. We got our center line to help us uh, get our bends in the same plane. And then our center line for the tube and our two bend marks. So we're gonna get this loaded and bend it up again. So here's our second piece. Uh, as you can see, it's the same as the first. We got our notches and bends in, and we should be ready to install this part as well. So we got this long tube here for the main frame, and you can see the notch on the end. And the special part about this is our notch and our bend are not in the same plane. So we drew this line earlier for the home of the notch, and that's also going to be where we're going to have pointed straight up basically our home for the bend too, so we can get the notch, we can get the notch and the bend clocked in the right position. So we're gonna load it up and bend it up. So there's our, there's our uh, tube there. We had to bend this one to 56 degrees. So we were able to do that in one shot. And when this sits in the frame, it'll sit at an angle about like that. Final piece of the frame here. Uh, we're gonna clock it just like the other one, and we got this special notch here, so having that ability to clock these things to the exact angle is gonna be really helpful. So we'll get it loaded and bend it up. Same thing here with that other one. We got that 56 degree bend in there and that piece will sit on the other side right about like that. Well, here you go guys. We got all the parts fabbed up, ready to go. Um, we got the plasma cutting done. Plasma cutting took about an hour to get done. Uh, the reason it went a little slow is because we had a used piece of metal and we had to rehome every part. So we did it individually versus nesting them on the uh, plasma cutter. And then we had two different metal thicknesses. We had quarter inch and eighth inch. So we got that done. Uh, took about an hour, including the tube notching that we did. Remember, we showed the tube notching earlier in the video. And then the final steps we did were the bending. Bending was about a half hour. So we got about a half hour in to the fab work, uh, or excuse me, an hour and a half into the total fab work so far into this project. Uh, next, we're gonna move on to final assembly in the next video. One thing you don't see here is the backbone uh, for the project. We figured we'd custom fab that in and then draw the part afterwards. Reason being is we didn't want to model the engine. Uh, didn't want to waste time drawing the engine. It's a very simple part, one bend, one notch. We can do, we can do that stuff the traditional way, but we'll model it in uh, for the next build of this. With that, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.